What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything and today you find me in my kitchen because we are going to do a spot of cooking and I suspect for your viewing pleasure also a spot of eating as you'll see later. Now I eat a lot, I'm a personal trainer daily life and I work out a lot so you know I gotta get my food in um, and there's obviously a lot to choose from but uh, if you think about food in a traditional sense, cows, pigs, chicken and so on, it requires very intensive resources to, in order to raise a cow uh, for you to be able to eat a steak. Uh, a lot of people uh, are pointing in the direction of insects as the food of the future since they contain much more nutritional value and they require a lot less resources in terms of feed, water, space uh, and pollution as well in order to grow them. Now there's uh, products on the market like cricket flour that you can you know, use to bake with uh, and a few other things but it's, it's not really a mainstream thing yet. Luckily here in Germany there's a company called Snack Insects that make exactly that, insects for snacking. Uh, edible insects, so you will. Uh, they have the traditional stuff like cricket flour, but also, uh, you know, protein and energy bars like this one. But they've sent me a care package with some of their more interesting products, uh, so to speak. And when I say more interesting products, I'm talking about real, actual, full-on insects. So this is something I'm really interested in because, uh, you know, all the food that I eat every day obviously makes me very aware of the impact it has on the environment and on animal cruelty and everything else that goes along with eating a lot of food and meat in particular. So I'm really interested in um, what this sort of experience of eating insects can bring. And if you think about it, it's nothing really that strange because half the world pretty much eats insects on a regular basis. Uh, just, you know, here in the West, so to speak, us white people uh, are not really comfortable with that. Which is strange if you think about it because they provide so much nutrition and the benefits of raising an insect over a traditional uh, cow or a pig uh, seem to be, you know, pretty much a no-brainer. So, today we're going to eat them and I'm actually, I haven't opened uh, the package yet because I want my reaction on the camera to be genuine. So I'm going to prepare them, uh, they require, uh, you know, a bit of heating in the pan uh, and then I'm actually going to eat them and uh, my reaction is going to be, you know, what it is for me to eat insects for the first time. So let's get cooking and I'll meet you in a bit at the dining table and then we'll have a taste test. Alright, so here we are, ready to eat. Uh, I got them all lined up here. And we're gonna start with some buffalo worms. I haven't really uh, seasoned anything, so it's just gonna be the pure taste. Obviously, uh, you know, you can put this in a variety of dishes, soy sauce, anything, uh, ketchup sauce, uh, to make it a bit more towards your own liking. Uh, but I'm just gonna go for the full uh, natural flavor, so to speak. Mm. So yeah, they have a really crunchy bite initially, uh, but then they sort of dissolve in your mouth. And they're sort of gone before you know it. If you would tell me this was insects, no, nothing to really give it away. It's quite a neutral flavor, so to speak. Not unpleasant at all. Uh, interesting texture. Like I said, it dissolves in your mouth, but other than that, no biggie. So now we're moving on to a bigger version of the worms, uh, sort of a larvae, I suppose. See what that's like. Thinking similar in experience uh, to the buffalo ones. Similar to the buffalo for sure, um, but there's a lot more bite to it since it's a larger animal, I suppose. So there's a lot more chewing action going on. Where the buffalo one dissolves right away, this, has, this stays in your mouth a bit longer, which is quite enjoyable. Um, very neutral taste again. You would really be able to, um, to season and flavor this any way you like. Next up is the grasshoppers. Now this is again uh, a step up in size and they're, they look to be a bit uh, thicker and more substantial as well. Let's go, nothing to it but to do it, I suppose. Oh. Mm. There's a lot more distinct flavor going on here. Especially the, um, the normal larvae were sort of very neutral taste. I mean, I think if you like sort of plain potato chips, you would definitely like this as well. But these they have a more like a, I would almost say like a grassy, earthy kind of flavor. It's a bit vague, I suppose, but 
yeah, if somebody would say like, oh, this is how insect tastes like, this is how I could imagine that an insect tastes like. It's not unpleasant at all, uh, but this, this is something that would definitely go good with a bit of extra seasoning as well. So I suppose next up is the big one, the locusts, literally the big one actually, because these are, I'm going to use my chopsticks here, this is the full banana, the full big insect. Now I can see that the first three, since they're smaller, uh, might be less objectable uh, to people. And uh, since this is, you know, this is the real deal, this is a real animal, uh, it's a big, a big thing, it's a big unit. Uh, so I can see why people might have sort of some kind of a hurdle to get over before they stick this in their mouth. Because, uh, you know, it's all there, wings, legs, eyes, head, uh, you can see it all. Uh, so I can imagine that this is, uh, you know, something that people hmm, have second thoughts about before they eat it. But, everything for the YouTube video, so let's go. Oh. There's a lot going on here. Very interesting. So it's a big, it's a big bite, and there's a lot of a uh, lot of crunching going on because obviously you know you're chewing through their armor and their wings and everything. So there's a lot of in your in your mouth. You can hear it in your ears. But the flavor is not unpleasant at all. I'd say the flavor comes closer to the um, to the larvae than to this one. Although it does have hints of sort of a more of a grassy, earthy kind of flavor. Hmm. This would be something that you um, you dip, rather. I think you, you can eat this as chips because also it's a bit bigger, so you can actually, you know, grab it with your finger, like this, rather than the other ones that are so small that you need a, a spoon of some kind. Uh, so I can see that this is very uh, dippable. You know, putting it in something and then going along with it. Not bad at all, actually. It is slightly. Uh, weird to pick it up because you know an insect is usually not something you pick up in daily life uh, and again you see everything right the eyes are there the, the head the wings you see the whole thing so it's you know I can again see that you have to get over yourself a little bit in order to stick this in your mouth uh, but it's not at all unpleasant all right well I'm still here I haven't thrown up I haven't run away uh, so that must mean that it's actually not that bad at all and it isn't. Um, I have to say, it's a very uh, interesting experience sort of to go through the process of, uh, you know, looking at an insect, sticking it in your mouth, chewing it, and eating it, and actually thinking about how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Um, aside from the nutritional value, obviously, it is all about the flavor and eating experience. And I have to say, especially with the big one, the locust, uh, you know, you have to get over yourself a little bit uh, because you're sticking quite a large insect in your mouth, and that's not really something. Uh, especially, you know, uh, in the, let's say, Western culture that you're really used to doing. Uh, but I have to say, flavor-wise, very nice experience. Um, nothing really uh, expectation-wise, because I don't really know how insects taste. Uh, but this is very pleasurable. I really liked the, um, the larvae, because you have a lot of sort of initial bite and a bit to chew on. It has a very neutral flavor. Uh, same goes for the locust, actually. It's a very accessible flavor. Um, but it's a very interesting experience in terms of how it crunches in your mouth and between your teeth. I have to say the buffalo dissolves a bit too quick for my taste. Um, Taste-wise it's good, um, but sort of texture and experience-wise it's over before you notice. Uh, so mm, not my favorite, but I can see this work well in uh, other dishes. Um, the grasshoppers, nah, a bit too earthy and a bit too uh, sort of strong insect taste, I suppose you want to call it. Uh, so I think this would go well with some seasoning as well. Uh, but overall, I can, I, I quite like it actually. It's nice to have such a different flavor experience uh, from something that you're you know, totally unfamiliar with. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I actually quite like eating them. All right, conclusion time. What do we make of the snack insects? Um, I think there's a few things to cover. First of all, there is the way these insects are presented. I think uh, anything from the website to the packaging to the way uh, you receive the products is very well done. Uh, it looks clean, it looks healthy, it looks fresh, presentable, uh, not, you know, sort of the general gross feeling that you get uh, when you think about insects. Uh, which I think is key when it comes to convincing people that this is, uh, you know, potentially the way forward in terms of food. Uh, it has to look this way, it has to look appealing and approachable. Uh, which I think, uh, you know, 10 points there, job well done uh, by Snack Insects. Uh, there's no way of getting around the fact that they look like insects 
and therefore you know you have to get over yourself a little bit in order to put it in your mouth and appreciate the flavor. And flavor wise I'm actually quite surprised on how easy they are to eat. Uh, yes the crickets have a bit of an earthy flavor but you know nothing uh, too extreme. Uh, all the other ones are very accessible. Um, texture wise that's a very different story that's something you definitely have to get used to because it, uh, it's not hard to compare this to anything else that you sort of eat on a regular basis especially when it comes to the locust because there's so such a you know crunchy experience going on in your mouth. Uh, for me uh, the buffalo uh, dissolves a bit too fast uh, not really my kind of thing uh, nothing unpleasant uh, but I can see that you put this in anything from you know some kind of meatball situation uh, you can put it in some kind of sauce no problem whatsoever and you will hardly notice that they're there. Uh, I really liked the, the larvae, the normal worms, because uh, they have a nice bite, a nice crunch, and you can actually chew on it a little bit uh, with a very pleasant uh, taste experience. The crickets have a bit of an earthy flavor, like I said. Not really my kind of thing, but I can see this working well with like a bit of, bit of uh, seasoning and extra flavors added to it. And uh, the locust, really nice, a really good flavor. Uh, would definitely work well with like a little bit of soy dip or anything. Uh, I can see this being very pleasurable to eat as well. Now I'm not suggesting at all that the locusts are going to replace your bowl of chips uh, when you're watching TV anytime soon, uh, but it's definitely a very interesting experience and if you consider uh, how good this is for you actually compared to a bowl of chips, uh, then it's certainly worth keeping an open mind. And I think keeping an open mind is sort of the overall theme here. If you look at all the problems we have these days with uh, agriculture, but it's particularly meat industry, raising cattle, raising chicken, uh, and all the problems that it brings, anything from animal cruelty to the enormous impact on the environment, uh, then there really is no way around it, in my opinion, uh, that insects are the food of the future. Uh, they require so much less resources in order to grow them, and they provide so much more um, beneficial nutrients at the end of the process, uh, that it's almost a no-brainer that we should be eating insects uh, if we want to keep feeding the world's uh, population. That is only going to get bigger in the years to come, and require, therefore, a lot more food. Now big credit goes obviously to Snack Insects for making this whole experience so approachable, uh, which I also think is key uh, in terms of how they present it and what they do in order to get people uh, to give insects a try and to wrap their head around what insects can and cannot do for you. Uh, maybe if not in the full uh, locust right away, uh, but they also sell things like cricket flour that you can just use on a daily basis. And I think these are the first but very determined steps we see uh, moving forward uh, that we are going to a more insect based uh, food industry, hopefully. This is Peter from Reviews on Anything uh, with a first look at the selection from Snack Insects. Uh, definitely a lot of fun making this video because it was a first for me as well. Uh, so big shout out to Snack Insects for providing us with this uh, review package. And definitely worth checking out what they have to offer for you. Uh, maybe, you know, give it a try sometime uh, and see how you feel about eating insects. And definitely let us know in the comments below as well uh, if you are an insect eater and what your experiences are with it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!